Hey watch people, welcome back to the channel. This is Hector with Winding Crowns and today we're taking a quick look, a little more in depth, at the Detroit Mint Mechanic Chronographs. I did the unboxing not too long ago. This is going to be a little short review. Anyway guys, these watches are pretty retro inspired. Uh, Detroit Mint, it, that's their thing. That's their MO. They do a lot of vintage inspired type watches. This one is no exception. But first, roll the intro. Hello watch people, my name is Hector and welcome to Winding Crowns. And we're back guys, I am wearing the SWC ARC, SWC stands for Swiss Watch Company, very very cool, titanium 38mm. Anyway guys, this is the watch we're talking about, these two babies here, They're pretty similar when you look at them right, they look very very similar. But they are different. If you look closely, you do have a bull head on this one, which is the crown and the two pushers up on top at the 12 o'clock part of the case. Whereas this one is more conventional with the crown and pushers on the right hand side. These are the two variants of the mechanic that Detroit Mint put out for this watch. And they're both chronographs and they do have different color so you can get an all gold case one or of course these stainless steel ones and then you can get them with a white dial, a black dial, silver dial and so forth so I'm sure you'll find one that you kind of gravitate towards they are using sapphire crystals which are slightly domed for some reason this one feels a little bit more domed the black doll one feels like it's a little bit more domed but that might just be my imagination because they they look pretty similar uh, of course uh i don't know which one you prefer i kind of prefer black but this one's kind of growing on me i do prefer the bullhead style case design i do like the the novel cool look of the pushers and crown at 12 but this one's good too but i just you don't see this as often so this kind of is my jam you know what i'm saying this is kind of what i prefer it comes on a pretty decent leather strap and it does have like a like a i don't know like a real nice weathered kind of feel to it you know like a broken in pebble see that you can see the pebble texture on it and then it has a white stitching all the way around then you have like a red racing stripe going to one of the sides there you do have a stationary keeper and then you have a floating keeper you have a real nice heavy duty tang buckle with the Detroit, you can see it here, the Detroit Mint logo or Detroit Mint script. Good looking watch. Here's the black one. Pretty nice watch. I think they're both pretty good looking. Um, let me see if I can get some dimensions for you. Turn this trusty thing on. 40 mil. And they both are 40 mil. Lug to lug. You don't really have a lug to lug, but 45. Because the strap goes on the underside. So it's 45 by 40. So that's good dimensions on it. Crown is pretty big on it six and a half almost six and a half 
really really nice uh, I'll show you the back so you can see the movements Let's see if we can zoom in here still has like a sticker on the back so I won't remove that but there you go very nice both autos as you can see I believe the NH35s Let's see if we can get one wound up here there goes the sub dial right there moving push this one actuate the running seconds there stopwatch second hand stop it go back to 12 but this one will always be running you have a six o'clock date window framed in white paint on the black one this version doesn't have a date so i like the clean look of the no date they're both 100 meter water resist really good looking watches guys sapphire crystal like i said they're pretty thick one of them is thicker than the other i want to say the black one the standard right hand side Okay, let's see. With the dome crystal and the case back and everything, you're looking at 15. That's pretty big. Let's check this one out, guys. See? 16.3. It's wider. It does even look it if you look at them closely. Sorry, guys. I got my... This one is much wider. Right, but they're really really nice <clears throat> let's see if i can get one on wrist and there you go guys what do you think not too shabby right Pretty good. I have a seven and a half inch wrist, so that's about what it's going to look like on your wrist if you have a 7.5 inch wrist. Pretty cool. I'll go ahead and show you the black one while I got you here. While I've got your attention, guy, take this time to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button while you're watching me change over the watch. Make your time useful. You know what I mean? Go ahead and use that finger. Go and go click. Let me see if I can hear you click it. Ready? One, two. Yeah, I heard some of y'all click. All right, there we go. What do you think? Nice, right? Hey, anyway, guys. If you enjoy this type of content, then please subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the bell icon so you're notified of the next video. And leave comments down below. I enjoy your comments, guys. So please leave comments down below. I'll try to engage with you. I try to answer all my comments. But anyway, thanks for being with me, guys. And remember, never stop winding crowns.